useful, you don't need a bad lever, okay? When you grab a firearm left-handed, you can work the bolt release with your trigger hand, okay? That's one of the great things about um, getting, you know, being left-handed is you don't have to buy this $30 piece. Now, you do have to buy this $50 mag release, but at least you don't have to buy this $30. So, it, it, it kind of makes this a little bit more inexpensive. I don't recommend anyone who's left-handed get a bad lever. It's pointless. That was specifically designed for right-handed people. Um, and that's the main reason why I don't like the Rock River Arms that they showed at SHOT Show 2012. Because at SHOT Show 212, what they want is they actually have the bolt release on this side, which makes it more traditional as far as for left-handers. So for left-handers, it, it, it would be on the opposite side, just like it is now for right-handers. But that's stupid, because then that actually makes you get a uh, a bad lever, which is stupid. So I would say get a stag over, over that, just because they're making you spend $30 on a part that you really don't need. So that's my recommendation. Um, another cool thing about the stag is that the dust cover actually flips up okay now a lot of people think that's stupid like why would it flip up why can't it just be regular make it flip down it's so stupid it's just a door make it whatever all right to be honest with you my dust cover hasn't really taken that much of a beating i'm not sure how how good my light is it really hasn't taken that much of a beating but what i do like about it since i have a qd mount if you notice, these little things stick out and protrude a good amount. It's also true if you have like a fat EOTech, it protrudes a little bit on the sides. So having this here, even if the brass, let's say, were to flick up first and then back to the brass deflector, I like having this here because then it protects my mount from beating the shit out of my mount. So you have an actual form of protection. I actually like that. I, you know, the brass deflector actually works. I have a little scuff mark on the... Let me see. Let me get some better light. I have a little scuff mark right there on the blast deflector, so I'm not sure if that's what's causing it, but it's fucking there to deflect brass, so I don't care if it gets a little scuffed up. But yeah, having that little door that opens up, I find that to be real beneficial. Um, dealing with um, dealing with this, the the cage. This thing's almost done. I do want to get um. I want to get a new rail system, I want to get um, backup iron sights, and the, and then a trigger job, and this thing will be 100% done. Um, I don't know if you can hear it, but this actually right here wiggles a little bit. The whole rail wiggles a little bit, because it's only being held in place by the delta ring. That's why I want to get a new rail system. Um, most of these cheap rails that come with a gun, unless it's like a bolt-on feature, this is only being held in by the delta ring. It doesn't really work that well. Um, a lot of these people that 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 you see that have these Mo four end grips or whatever, that shit moves too and it jiggles. Um, eventually, it's gonna just jiggle more and more and more. Uh, none of them are 100% solid, um, so I would definitely recommend getting an you know an actual rail system that screws or bolts in. I'm looking at getting a Troy just because I don't want to spend the $350 on a Daniel Defense. Um, I mean, I know it's better, but is it twice? Twice the amount of money as better? Hell no. Um, you can't convince me of that. So I would definitely, uh, I'm definitely getting a new rail system. And then with that, I want to get the 9 inch so it covers up the actual gas block system. Iron sight so it'll be monolithic right there. Um, and then I'll get a flip up iron sight. And honestly, I'm just going to get the iron sights just for cosmetic purposes. I, I don't plan to shoot iron sights, but I think it's just cool to have them there uh, cosmetically. So, I also got a couple P mags with the window. Um, I got a, you know, a dual stack magazine holder, which is pretty cool. Um, and that's about it, you know what I'm saying? These things aren't cheap. Um, anybody who's planning to build one, I definitely recommend that you don't go low end because you will end up buying more parts to replace it anyways. So, do it once, do it right. Buy once, cry once, and you'll be all right. Um... Like I said, I also did not get the ambi safety because I'm left-handed, so I am not paying more money for other people to be able to flick off the safety. If you come to the range with me, uh, you deal with that. That's your problem. Um, other than that, oh, I also did want to get a true left-handed charging handle. 
okay? Badger Ordnance actually made one where you could pull it just off the left, but you see how I can't pull this back now because there's no tab right there? Tab's over here, so I have to unlock it this way. Badger Ordnance made one where this little, where this little tab was on the right side, so it would have worked great for me um, when it came to uh, left-handed function. But um, when I called, I want to say I got this in... I got this in January or February of this year, of 2012. When I called Badger Ordinance, first of all, I looked online. Everybody and their mother was sold out. So I called Badger Ordinance. They said that they've had a problem with their milling company. Uh, they hadn't made any from March, and they didn't plan to make any from May. So they, were at, they weren't making any for a whole year. For a year and two months, they weren't making any. Um, it was like $65. I really wanted it. I was willing to pay more if I could find one used, actually. But um, what ended up happening was I really don't think I need it. I mean, it'd be nice to have 60 bucks, but I'm not really going to pay for all that. Um, it works just fine the way it is. I would definitely say, you know, run it first and then see if you really need the left-handed charging handle. Um, a lot of these other ones have, you know, something that wraps around the back of the charging handle. So, therefore, you can just pull it like this. I didn't want any of that. I, I just wanted a regular looking charging handle, but to flip this little tab on the other side, and I'm just not able to find it. Um, there's another company that I saw at um, at SHOT Show that had one similar to that, but they want like 130 bucks for it. So I'm not paying them for that. Um, I'm happy with the way it is. Oh, also, um, I do have a Magpul MS3 sling, and with that, I did get the ASAP. Um... Oh, shit. I did get the uh, the ASAP sling adapter. This is really cool. I really enjoy this. For thirty bucks, this this was one of the best investments ever with the sling. It just it, it just holds it right in place. Also, um, speaking of that, if you have a swing swivel that is connected or part of your gas block, right there, do not hang it off the front. You can actually move your gas block, and then you'll have a a single filed rifle where you have to charge the charging handle every time to load around so try not to hang anything off the front I do hang it off there like when I have a two point but I'll never put in a one point off the front just because I think it's too much weight bearing down on that so once I get the the new Troy rail system I'll get a new sling mount and figure that out then but like I said it's a work in progress and these things aren't cheap and it's always better to go the more expensive route because you will pay for it later um, and since now I'm in the market for another firearm, I don't know when this stuff is ever going to get done or if it gets done. She shoots great. Um, you know, now since it's summertime, the barrel gets really hot really quick. Um, but that's really about it. I really enjoy this, and I'm really happy. And I would not get the Rock River Arms because I think it's stupid to have the bolt release on the opposite side when you're left-handed. So... Those are just my thoughts, my opinions. If you guys have any questions, PM me, comments, whatever. Uh, I usually respond to PMs a lot better than comments just because I don't follow every comment on my video. Uh, so any questions, holler at me.